you giving, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business Not because they want Hello everyone, and welcome back to the fifth episode of the Joshua Coverson Show I'm very happy to have my special guest today here, New Bern High alumni He did his first two years of college at Craven Community College Then he finished his last two years at Methodist then he went on to play with the Harlem Globetrotters, and now he's back in the New Bern area doing FCA Fellowship Christian Athletes, walking around, talking to our youth today. Mr. Troy Pennington, how are you doing today? How you doing, Josh? Yes, good sir. to see you, man. Good to talk to you now. Yes, sir. I want to know, where did you grow up at? Uh, originally, uh, lived in Virginia. We moved down here when I was in the sixth grade. Yes, sir. Uh, then started you know, attending H.J. McDonald, and then New Bern High School, and then... Uh, you know, this is this has been home. This has been home ever since 1980. 1980. Yeah. You oh man, even, you took you it back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you weren't even thought of. Yeah, I was born 1995, <laughs> so, man. There you go. Yeah. Oh my man. So how was it like growing up in New Bern, man? Tell me some of the exciting things you did growing up as a kid. Well, the kids have a lot more to do now than uh, than what we did yes, back then. 1980. It was just uh, you know play sports and hang out, and maybe go to the river. And yes, sir. <laughs> that was that was about it. You know, riding bikes, fishing, stuff like that. Yes, sir. So you grew up both parents. Yep, both parents in the house, uh, and uh, loving parents and yes, you know, good family, and then. Uh, right when I went to college, my parents divorced, and uh, yes, sir. so I had some issues. But I was blessed; the Lord blessed me with two mamas. Yes, and, sir. Uh, and yes, so, sir. And, I, and I just lost my father. I just lost oh, my father. Oh man, so sorry to hear. Yes, so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, but good, good family, good parents. Yes, sir. So, I trained your kid Reed, and I know you got a son, you got a wife, and so tell me how it is growing up in the house and developing him, because you know kids nowadays they grow up so many things and technology. So tell me how it is raising him. Well, Reed is a, he's a character. Uh, I've, been, <laughs> I've been blessed. I have, uh, I have, uh, I've been married twice. Unfortunately, my first marriage didn't, didn't go well. Yes, sir. Uh, my wife now, Terry, she is just an awesome lady. Yes, sir. Um, I have two daughters uh, with my first wife, uh, Bethany and Maddie. Yes, sir. And then we had Reed. And then when I met, uh, met Terry, um, she has two kids. And we're getting ready to celebrate our anniversary here, March Oh, 30th. man, yes, our sir. First year, our first one-year anniversary. Yes, sir, congratulations. And, uh, so she has a boy, uh, Jamie, who plays baseball at, at uh, Pitt Community College. Yes, sir. And then a, a daughter, Anna, who's at New Bernard. Yes, sir, so we won't read the follow right behind That's those right. footsteps. That's right. I never thought I'd have five kids. <laughs> and I even have grandkids. I got three grandkids. Oh, that's so, amazing, so I'm man. I'm an old man. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, you told me before the interview got started, man, Craven Community College had a basketball team. Now, that amazed me because I, when growing up, you know what I'm saying, like you said, I wasn't even thought of when you was born. So I missed the whole part of them having a basketball team, man. So tell me how that was, man. They had a, they had a strong team back in the day. Coach uh, Sa Seymour uh, was the coach for forever. Yes, he, sir. He recruited me and coached me, and he got a lot of kids around our area from New Bern High, West Craven. And, uh, and so we – um, like my sophomore year, we won the region, Region X, oh, yes, and so uh, it gave kids in this in this uh, in this area an opportunity to play, get their two year degree, and then transfer on. Yes, sir. And so plus the basketball was really strong. Yes, we had some great teams. We had some great teams. Yes, back. sir. So then you took it from there to Methodist. To so Methodist. tell me how that transition was. That was well. The, really, after Craven, I went to Mount Olive. And things didn't work out well there with my parents and, you know, going through the board. So I left school, and I said, you know what, this might be over. This might, basketball might be over. And then the coach of Methodist needed somebody who could shoot the three. Yes, sir. So he reached out to Cy, Cy Seymour. And uh, so next thing I knew, I was at Methodist the next year. And uh, But what was funny was a new coach came in, Coach Bob McAvoy. And, uh, and then my next two years there, was uh, I started both years. Oh, my, my junior year, we weren't we were we were not very good. But my my senior year, we had a winning record. Yes, sir. And now they just made it back to the NCAA tournament. Yes, sir. So, yeah. So I, I'm excited for them. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. So then now, this is the most amazing thing about you because I I've, I've known you, my dad known you, <laughs> and I I just missed the history, man. Harlem Globetrotters, man. Yeah. You was a Harlem Globetrotter. Well, I wasn't a Globetrotter. I played for the team that played against the Globetrotters, the ones yes, that always lost, which <laughs> the Washington Generals. But uh, I was blessed to play with them for nine years, travel to 36 different countries, uh, play with some great players. Uh, yes, a good friend of mine, Michael Wilson, 
is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest dunk. He played at University of Memphis. Oh, man. And uh, played with some NBA guys. Uh, my buddy Sweet Lou, who is the coach of the Globetrotters now, so yes, out there. he learned from Metal Ark Lemon, who everybody knows who Metal yes, Ark is. Yes, sir. And so, uh, so it was. Uh, it was a great. I mean, it was such a blessing just to be able to travel. Do something you enjoy, yes, see the world, and uh, and bring a smile to a child's face. So, so how did that change you as a man? Like knowing you're from this little area of New Bern, but now from New Bern, you're here, 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 Italy, here, here, here. Yeah. How, how did that feel, it, man? It was it was such a blessing. I've been I've stood at the Opera House at Sydney, and I've been uh, I've been to the uh, almost to the North Pole. We've been to Norway. So, uh, so it's just crazy. Uh, country boy from Eastern North Carolina, mm -hmm. bouncing a ball, uh, you know, traveling and doing something that you enjoy. It's just a blessing. That's why I try to give back. I believe, uh, I believe God gave me this platform to be able to come back and spread, you know, to our youth and our kids. That, yes, that you know, I'm coaching in Newburn High for the last two years. But, it, 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 you know, I love my kids in Newburn, but it's the kids at West Craven. It's the kids at Pamlico. Yes, sir. It's the kids in our area trying to help them out. Yes, sir. So now you're coaching at New Bern, and Coach Bear is the new coach, and this is his first year in, and you know I'm a, I'm a Coach oh, Bear, yeah. and I love oh, Coach Bear, man. So tell me how it was coaching alongside him and just seeing him go through his first year of coaching this uh, year. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a blessing because see Coach Bear bring in some new uh, enthusiasm. Yes, sir. You know, some new passion. And uh, even though he played at West Craven, he brought that passion to New Bern High, which we needed. Coach Diller did a great job, but it was—you could tell Coach Diller was getting getting burned out. Yes, sir. And and Bear just—he, uh, I can't call him Bear because he's he, Coach, Coach Cam. Coach Cam. Cam <laughs> he uh, he just brought that passion and that work ethic and and wants to change the program back to where it used to be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So y'all have some great kids, man, coming up these next two or three years, man. How you, how do you think? Y'all going to shape up and form to make that that, that, that title push, yeah. that playoff push. Well, this summer will be the big will be the big push. We'll we're going to work them hard this summer. We're going to have them in the gym. Yes, sir. We're going, you know, when the gym is when we're able to open the gym, it's going to be open, and and we got to get better. Yes, sir. And if you don't want to get better, you might as well just go ahead and stay <laughs> home. Stay home because we don't need you. Yes, sir. Because we're looking to get better every day, and we're looking to get better on the floor and off the floor. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. We got to make great men on and off. That's what I'm going to say. Coach Campbell's all about the holding them accountable for the schoolwork, what they do off the floor, yes, sir. and then what they do on the floor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we did an IBX league at West Craven High School, and it kind of it kind of amazed me that y'all asked me to be a part of it, and I was so glad to be a part of that. So one thing I want to ask you about is Fellowship Christian Athlete. Tell me, how did y'all get started with that movement around here, and how has it turned out to be a great success now? Has y'all how y'all spread it from day one to now? Well, David Adams is our, you know, David Adams. Yes, he's sir. our area rep, and uh, he's he and I went to high school together, so yes, we both have known each other for years, and uh, and so we just he started it, and then I don't remember how I got involved when I when I came when I you know. Uh, when I got back, but it was just like one day I started helping Coach Reese at HJ, and then it just you know God just started using us to you know reach HJ, Grover C, uh, West Craven Middle, West Craven High, Newburn High, yes, sir. and then uh, it's just growing just to help kids. You know, it's a lot. Our kids are going through a lot with things going on in the world, and then we give them a, a time you know before school and some places after school to come in. And just spend 45 minutes or, or 20 minutes to hear about Jesus. Yes, you know? sir. Yes, so, sir. Uh, so we, we understand what they're going through, and like with the sports team, we try to feed them and just encourage them, and you know make sure they have a Bible. And then with that, we try to place them to a church that has a youth group, so they can get so they can get fed. Yes, because sir. Because we only have a short amount of time with them. If we can get them to a youth group, then let the, the local take more local yes, youth, youth pastor, you know, pour more into them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is incredible, man. That's so incredible. It's been, a, it's been a blessing. Yes, sir. So now, what's the next big thing we're looking for? Uh, what's next the next big, big thing? Uh, I, that's a good question. Fa family wise, coaching wise, traveling wise, what's what's Mr. Uh, pastor Troy next uh, big? Next thing is just uh, we just got to keep. Just keep pouring into our kids. Yes, sir. Um, keep you know help help my son become. Uh, first of all, I want him to be a good player, but most importantly, I want him to be a good man. Yes, sir. To, to teach him and, and you know and Jamie and Anna and my daughter and, and my other daughter Madison 
just keep you know pouring into them and pouring into our kids here in the community. That's what it's all about. It's been a blessing being here at the Y almost for two years, and uh, just to be able to, to pour into our community and help our kids and and families. Yes, you know, sir. That one person that you interact with, you know, you know, for five seconds or even five minutes, you don't know what they're going through. And if we can bring a smile to their face, you know, and maybe an encouraging word, that's that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Just the one person. Yep, that's it. It starts with one. If you yes, reach, sir. You reach one. I reach you. Then you reach someone else. That's how the gospel just that's spreads. How it spreads. Yes, yep. sir. That's yes, awesome. sir. It was so awesome doing an interview with you, man. Yes, yeah. sir. And there y'all have it. That's the end of the Josh Cubberson Show. See y'all on the next episode. We out. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching the Joshua Cubberson Show. Please continue to show your love and support by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Check us out next week on the next episode of the Josh Cubberson Show. We out.